This is Steve Halleck from TikToking, and I'm bringing you another really cool watch today, very stealth. Uh, before I get into it, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, and also definitely check out www.tiktoking.com. Um, and I've got a really awesome selection of some of the coolest watches in the world. Um, some are available to buy, some I've just got great video re reviews, and um, really cool uh, articles and also I've got all sorts of writings about the watch industry and stuff like that so check it out um, but now I want to show you the Gerard Perigot 1966 minute repeater and this is one that uh, I've actually never seen another version of um, so you're pretty unlikely to come across one of these um, first the first thing you can notice with this watch is that uh, it's super stealth right unless you saw this slide on the side of it um, or were close enough to actually read that it says repetition minutes on it, uh, you would have no idea that you're looking at a minute repeater. Um, it looks just like a, a traditional gold watch, which is really cool, I think. Um, and uh, the finish is amazing. So on the front, obviously, you've got these uh, very nicely applied uh, Arabic numerals around a central seconds, blued hands, um, very classic dial, not super busy. Uh, the case also is, uh, it looks pretty traditional, nothing uh, too crazy going on, but actually they've put a lot of thought into this case to maximize the internal volume, uh, because the more sort of volume you have, the more sound you can get out of the minute repeater. So for example, this, um, this case back, the way it's curved, uh, in, uh, gives more volume to the back of the movement um, so that you've got more air to vibrate and more space for these gongs. Um, so if you're interested in how a minute repeater works, I actually did a video with a uh, skeleton uh, Jager Le Coult minute repeater. Um, so check that out and you can really find out how they work. Um, but in this one I'm just going to show you the watch and let you hear it. Um, but let's check out the movement. The movement's really the superstar of this watch. Uh, first of all, it's super three-dimensional, uh, which is awesome. Very tall. Um, here you've got a single, um, a single bridge uh, balance cock that is sort of reminiscent of the, uh, obviously, the three golden bridges tourbillons that uh, Gerard Pergo is famous for. Uh, this watch is not a tourbillon, um, but uh, the, it's a really cool uh, balance cock there. And uh, here you can see the gongs going around the outside, and those are the two hammers that hit the gongs. Uh, now, if you remember in my um, in my video, the minute repeater is powered by the slide itself. So you can see here the balance is not moving. Uh, you do not need wind in the watch to activate the minute repeater. And so I'm going to deliberately keep it not wound so that we can set it to... Um, a really good chiming time here. I'm just going to advance it like a couple minutes so we get the most possible chimes. Um, this watch has, I believe, a hundred hour power reserve, which is really awesome. Uh, in a manual wine dress watch, that's that's a nice thing to have. Oh, just by touching the crown, we got a little bit of a little bit of juice into it. Um, there it goes, and. Um, also, one of the neat things is uh, for this watch, because obviously it's a very special uh, version of the 1966, uh, all of the engravings are hand done. Um, so that just adds a little bit of extra specialness to it. But let's give it a listen. It's a very, very nice, clean sound out of this movement. You don't have um, a lot of sort of extra noise from the movement itself. And uh, the sound sounds pretty big. It doesn't sound um, sort of tinny or muffled at all. It, it's very resonant and very clear. Uh, so I like this watch a lot. Um, I think it's a very, very high quality caliber minute repeater. And... Uh, if you uh, check out TikToking and uh, see the the price that this watch is is 
going for. Um, I think the original MSRP is, is like a couple hundred grand or something like that. But at the price that you can actually pick up a watch like this for, uh, man, what an awesome buy for a super, super, super cool dress watch. Um, so let me show it to you on the wrist. One of the other cool things about this watch is while it is very classic, it's 42 millimeters. So um, it, it doesn't, it's definitely no small watch by any stretch of the imagination. And it looks pretty contemporary on the wrist. So check that out. Man, that's nice. I wouldn't mind taking this one. Um, so there you go. That's it on the wrist. You can see uh, it's definitely not not too big by any stretch, but it uh, if you compare it to like the 3939 Paddock or something that I reviewed, um, this is a this is a definitely modern sized watch. Um, and again, you would have no idea if you just saw me out in this watch. You'd think, oh, that guy's got a a nice gold watch. Um, but uh, the fact that this is such a complicated and special watch would go totally unnoticed by 99.999% of the people. And frankly, I probably wouldn't even notice if I saw somebody with this watch out, unless I happened to have um, the angle that gave me a view of this slide, and then I would be very confused and try to sneak a closer look. <laughs> um, so anyway, this is the Gerard Perigo 1966 Minute Repeater, and I, uh, I hope you enjoyed the review.